Number 15, we want to know the vertical and the horizontal asymptotes of this guy. Let's start with horizontal. Horizontal, which means asymptotes going like this horizontally. We have that expression, Bobo Botten eats DC, eats DC. Now, we're always looking at the exponents. The guy up top is a one, the guy down below is a two. So is it bigger? Is he always going to either be bigger on top, bigger on the bottom, or they could be the exact same power. So if it's bigger on the bottom, it's going to be y equals zero. If it's bigger on top, there's going to be none. And if the exponents are the same, we're going to divide the coefficients and numbers out in front. In this case, it's a two and a one. It's bigger on where? The bottom, bigger on bottom. So we're going to say, hey, it's y equals zero. That's where the line's going to be drawn, right on that x-axis. Now, what about the vertical? The vertical, all we care about is what x can't be, which in a fraction, we can't let it be a zero here. So we're going to set it equal to zero because we're going to draw our lines at that spot where it can't be. Notice, ooh, difference of squares. This is an x minus 3 times an x plus 3. So we want to figure out where that's zero. Well, that's obviously when x is 3 and when x is what? Negative 3. So we would say, hey, it's when I would write as x plus or minus 3. So what that graph would look like, here's the graph. We're going to have one guy right here at x is 3. And this other guy right here when x is negative 3, the line x equals negative 3. We're going to have those vertical guys. And what was the horizontal? Well, the horizontal was right here at y is 0. So you got a crazy picture with all these asymptotes everywhere for this number 15.